Hey everyone, how's it going? Thanks so much for tuning in. In today's video, we're going to be taking an in-depth look at the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD with the Duramax Turbo Diesel V8. In this video, just like all of my reviews, I'll be covering all of the ins and outs of this truck. We'll talk about performance and capabilities, features, pricing, and so much more. So without further ado, let's go ahead and start her up and let her run. Chevrolet introduced the all-new Silverado 2500 and 3500 HD for the 2020 model year. It's bigger, bolder, and significantly more capable. Between the two models, there are five trim levels to choose from, including Work Truck, Custom, LT, LTZ, and High Country. Custom is a new trim level that's only available on the 2500. Base pricing for a 2500 four-wheel drive LTZ crew cab, including destination, starts at $55,295. However, this example is equipped with over $16,000 in optional extras, including the Duramax diesel V8, the LTZ Plus package, Z71 Sport and off-road packages, the Safety Package 2, and the Gooseneck fifth wheel package. Total MSRP for everything you see here is $71,610. For 2021, changes are limited to expanded feature availability on entry models, new special editions, and added flex fuel capability for the standard gas engine. Compared to the prior generation of HD trucks, these are larger in pretty much every dimension. From a design standpoint, the new HD trucks are significantly different from the light duty trucks. The roof is the only shared sheet metal, which gives the HD trucks a distinct and more aggressive personality. The Z71 Sport Edition is one of the new options for 2021. It includes black badging and trim, body color bumpers and grille, gloss black wheels, mud terrain tires, and black tubular running boards. When looking at this truck's configuration, the wheelbase and overall length grew by 5.2 inches and 10.4 inches respectively. Overall height and width increases by 1.6 inches and 1.4 inches respectively. The new HD trucks ride on a heavier duty ladder type frame with bed rails that improve strength and help contribute to a smoother ride. It's all designed to handle higher loads than the previous HD offerings. With the optional fifth wheel gooseneck package, you get stamped bed holes with caps, a seven pin trailer harness in the bed, a spray on bed liner, and a bed view camera. Of course, for serious heavy hauling, you have the 3500 HD, which is offered in both single and dual rear wheel configurations. The High Country is the only Silverado that's only available with four wheel drive. With the rest of the lineup, it's optional. If equipped, you get a two-speed transfer case with four auto mode that allows the truck to seamlessly shift between two-wheel drive and four-wheel drive based on road conditions. For the first time, the beds on HD trucks are not shared with the light duty trucks. While some design traits are shared, such as the rolled steel bed construction and multi-piece inner panels, these beds are designed specifically for the HDs with unique dimensions and features. The multi-piece inner panels versus the previous single panel design expand bed width by 6.7 inches. The standard bed is now 6 foot 9 inches long, an increase of 3 inches, and it has a total cargo volume of 69.5 cubic feet. That's an improvement of 8.6 cubic feet. There's an 8 foot long bed option as well that offers a class leading cargo volume of 83.5 cubic feet. That's a 7.1 cubic foot improvement thanks to the added width. Inside the bed, there's 12 fixed tie-down rings that are rated to hold up to 500 pounds. 
you also have the ability to add up to nine accessory tie downs. Both bed lengths are offered with a 120 volt power outlet that's located at the rear of the bed. GM continues to include corner steps on either side of the rear bumper, but they're larger in size to improve access, especially with wearing boots. In my opinion, the most handy upgrades are the new bed steps in front of the rear wheel openings. They eliminate the need of wheel-to-wheel -wheel running boards and make bed access from the sides easier than ever, especially with the long bed. While GMC has their unique multi-pro tailgate, Chevrolet offers a power up and down tailgate that can be operated using the key fob, interior button, or touchpad on the tailgate itself. The trailering mirrors have been totally redesigned as well. They're now mounted to the doors instead of the A-pillars. The mirrors not only fold in for parking in tighter areas, but they also extend and retract using a new four-bar link system. The surface area of the mirrors is larger for a greater field of view, and their new mounting position eliminated a blind spot. Available mirror lighting features include forward and rearward facing spot lamps, perimeter lighting, and puddle lamps. The 2500 HDs are available with either 17, 18, or 20 inch wheels. With the exception of the 20s, the wheels will either be steel or aluminum depending on the trim level. As mentioned earlier, these high gloss black 18 inch alloys are exclusive to the Z71 Sport Edition. 8 lug wheel hubs are standard on HD trucks. The standard tires are LT27570 all terrains, but this example features Hankook Dynapro MT2 mud terrain tires. They're also included on the Z71 Sport Edition. I'm sure they offer greater off road capability, but the road noise and low speed vibrations I noticed was a big turnoff, especially for being a factory option. Unless you plan on a lot of off-roading, I'd recommend swapping the mud terrains for some quality all-terrains. The brakes on 2500 and 3500 HD single rear wheel trucks consist of four wheel internally ventilated discs that span 14 by 1.6 inches in front and 14.1 by 1.3 inches in the rear. Large twin piston calipers are used at each corner. The heavy-duty brake setup is designed to handle not only the truck itself, but heavy loads when hauling or towing. The brakes have a lot of bite and bring the truck to a stop quickly. With the Duramax, you gain an exhaust brake feature. When active, the transmission still downshifts like it would during traditional engine braking. The exhaust brake simply bolsters the effectiveness by mitigating the flow of exhaust gases to slow the truck down even further when traveling with heavy loads down steep grades. It prevents you from having to constantly apply brake pressure which can lead to excess wear on the pads, not to mention heat buildup and possible brake fade. A lot of times you can simply let the exhaust brake do its thing without even pressing the brake pedal. The suspension design consists of a short, long arm, independent setup in front with torsion bars and semi-elliptic three-stage multi-leaf springs in the rear with a solid axle. With the Z71 off-road package, you get an off-road tuned suspension with Rancho twin tube shock absorbers, hill descent control, an assortment of underbody skid plates and unique exterior badging. The overall capabilities of the HD trucks vary quite a bit depending on the powertrain, drivetrain, cab size, and bed length. For this truck in particular, the base gross vehicle weight rating is 11,350 pounds. Max conventional, fifth wheel, and gooseneck towing is 18,500 pounds. Max payload is 3,563 pounds. There's a lot of new hardware enhancements and technology in these trucks that make hooking up and traveling with a trailer so much simpler, especially if you're doing it all yourself. For starters, the new HD trucks are offered with up to 15 unique camera views, including HD surround vision, bed view, and an industry-first transparent trailer view. There's also an in-vehicle trailering app that allows you to input custom trailer profiles, test trailer lights, diagnose electrical issues, monitor tire pressures, and more. Of course, this just scratches the surface. There's plenty of other stuff too that's definitely worth researching further. When comparing an HD truck to a light duty truck, you're always going to find that the HDs have a stiffer, springier ride when unloaded. 
However, that doesn't mean it's uncomfortable. It's a purpose-built truck that really comes into its own when you put it to work. It's impressive just how comfortable it can be when loaded down, especially for a long highway trip. After all, that's what the HDs are designed for. The steering setup is a traditional hydraulic power-assisted recirculating ball design. However, on LTZ and High Country models, you also have a digital steering assist feature. Compared to a full-blown electric power steering system, this system is claimed to offer similar tuning ability but still retain the robustness of a conventional heavy-duty hydraulic system. With speed adaptive variable assistance, the steering lightens at lower speeds and stiffens at higher speeds. When tow haul mode is activated, the steering effort is reduced even further to compensate for heavier loads. Along with making return to center easier and counteracting pull when traveling on roads with significant crowning, digital steering assist also includes a variable flow pump that can scale back output when on a long stretch of highway to reduce engine load and improve efficiency. These enhancements make the new HD trucks almost effortless to drive. The new Silverado HD is offered with a choice between an all-new gas-powered naturally aspirated 6.6-liter .6 V8 or the venerable 6.6-liter .6 Duramax turbo diesel V8. The gas-powered V8 is standard equipment and replaces the prior generation's 6-liter V8. It develops 401 horsepower at 5,200 rpm and 464 pound-feet of torque at 4,000 rpm. It's paired to GM's 6L90 six-speed automatic transmission. The Duramax is a $9,890 option. It's the best way to extract the full capability of the new HD platform. It develops 455 horsepower at 2,800 RPM and a ground-pounding 910 pound-feet of torque at 1,600 RPM. The Duramax features a cast iron block with cast aluminum cylinder heads and an overhead valve design with four valves per cylinder. Fuel is delivered via common rail direct fuel injection. The compression ratio is 16 to 1. This generation Duramax has actually been around since the tail end of the previous generation. While the power ratings haven't changed, the all-new Allison 10-speed automatic transmission makes it feel significantly more powerful. Compared to the previous Allison 6-speed automatic, the 10-speed improves torque transfer, allowing more torque to be put to the ground in lower gears. In fact, nearly every driveline component of the new HD trucks has been upgraded to support delivery of all 910 pound-feet of torque in first gear. In addition to more robust front and rear axles, all 2500 HD trucks have an upgraded 11.5-inch ring gear and a 30% larger drive shaft. Cooling has been improved with a larger 28-inch variable speed fan. Cold air intake pass includes special ducting in the grill and core support as well as hood ducting. It's amazing how quickly this powertrain combination builds power. I have a 2015 Sierra HD with the previous generation Duramax and the difference is night and day. This truck is significantly more responsive and more refined in how the powertrain feels in day-to-day -day use and towing. Speaking of, being that the 10-speed has shorter steps between the gears, you'll notice gear changes are smoother and quicker which also helps with trailering performance. The new standard final drive ratio with this powertrain is 3.42 to 1. You get a 3.73 to 1 ratio with the gas engine. An automatic locking rear differential is standard. The Duramax also benefits from a new after-run cool-down feature. Following a demanding towing situation, if you park the truck, shut it off, and exit before the engine is able to get itself to an optimal temperature, the truck will restart on its own via a remote start for up to 15 minutes of cooldown. When it comes to expanded capability, select Duramax models are now offered with an all-new factory-integrated engine-driven power takeoff unit, eliminating the need for an aftermarket unit. It's the first system of its kind in this segment. An engine block heater is standard with the Duramax and available on the gas engine. The cord outlet now sits externally on the driver's side of the lower front fascia. This eliminates the need for cords hanging out of the grill or having to open up the hood for plug-in. 
If you're planning on fitting a snowplow, the front of the new HD trucks is designed so that you can easily remove the air dam and skid plate for more intuitive mounting of the snowplow hardware. No drilling is needed. On top of that, when the plow blade is removed, the front end is still able to maintain a smooth, integrated appearance without any visible hardware. While fuel economy ratings aren't required for HD trucks, I saw between 19 and 20 miles per gallon on the highway, which I felt was quite impressive. From other reviews I've read, fuel economy for the gas engine likely averages around 14 miles per gallon on the highway. As mentioned earlier, the gas engine can also run on E85 flex fuel. Fuel tank capacity for the HD trucks does vary depending on what engine and body and bed configuration you choose, unless you go for the crew cab which has a standard 36 gallon tank. With the Duramax, you also have a 7 gallon diesel exhaust fluid tank which has thankfully been relocated further back on the frame and out of sight from the exterior. They also moved the fill inlet next to the fuel filler which is a lot more convenient. Within the driver's information system, there's a new electronic gauge readout for the DEF fluid level. The interior of the new Silverado offers class leading front head and legroom, better build quality and a thoroughly updated layout. There's more soft touch materials including stitched padding on the dash, door panels and center console. With the LTZ, interior colors are limited to black or black and light grey two-tone. Metallic silver trim and faux wood provides a little contrast. Leather upholstery is standard on the LTZ, along with a 40-20-40 split front bench seat with under seat storage so you can sit three people up front if you want. Otherwise, there's a fold down console. With the LTZ Plus package, front bucket seats are added along with a full floor console. Both the driver and passenger seats feature 10-way power adjustments with power lumbar. The driver's seat gets two-person memory and an easy exit feature. For added comfort, the LTZ also includes heated front seats and a heated steering wheel. With the LTZ Plus package, you get cooled front seats. The seats are quite comfortable and offer great lower back support. The headrests and seat belts are adjustable. The steering wheel is manually adjustable for both tilt and reach. The upper spokes house a variety of multifunction controls including controls for the driver's information system within the instrument cluster. There you'll find multiple menus that coincide with vehicle data and trip information, media information, navigation data, telephone data, and a bunch of system settings. On the back side of the upper steering wheel spokes, you'll find radio controls. The Silverado is offered with several touchscreen multimedia systems. The work truck and custom have a basic 7 inch screen. A larger 8 inch screen is included with the LT. A high definition 8 inch screen with voice recognition and more is available on the LT and standard on the LTZ and High Country. It includes all expected media options including Sirius XM satellite radio and hands free Bluetooth streaming. A built in navigation system is optional on the LTZ and standard on the High Country. 
Apple CarPlay and Android Auto is standard across the board, and for 2021, you're able to use those features wirelessly. The infotainment system is packed with features including an expansive app suite and climate controls. Speaking of, dual zone climate control is also standard. In-vehicle Wi-Fi is optional on the LT and Custom, and standard on the LT, LTZ, and High Country. On Crew Cab Silverados, a six-speaker audio system is standard. A seven-speaker Bose system with subwoofer is available on the LTZ and standard on the High Country. There's plenty of USB ports for charging a variety of mobile devices. Wireless phone charging is optional on the LTZ and standard on the High Country. In the lower portion of the center console, there's 12 volt and AC 110 volt power outlets. As expected, there's plenty of storage up front. The center console has long pockets on either side and a generous covered compartment that also houses an SD card slot and aux input for expanded media options. There's a small tray on top of the lid. Towards the front of the console, there's a bunch of open space and two cup holders. The glove box is split into two compartments. The lower lid is lockable for added security. On top of the dash, you'll find a deep storage tray. Of course, there's large pockets across the lower door panels. The prior generation Silverado offered a roomy back seat, but when it came to features, Ford and Ram offered more. The biggest thing lacking was rear seat air vents. The GMC Sierra was the same way. Not only did GM add this feature for the new generation trucks, but the quality of materials takes a nice jump too. The door panels have a lot more soft padding than before. There's about 3 inches of additional rear seat legroom as well thanks to the longer platform. You can easily sit 3 adults comfortably. There's plenty of storage space too. In addition to large pockets on the doors and seatback pockets, you can flip up the 60-40 split bottom cushion to really open up floor space. Underneath the rear seat you'll also find a cargo organizer that you can load up with basic travel essentials. One of my favorite features are the hidden cubbies mounted in the outer seat bags. The rear doors open up nearly 90 degrees making it effortless to climb in and out. There's grip holders on the B-pillars. I'm 5 foot 10 inches. Once seated, I had plenty of head and leg room left over. Taller folks will not have an issue sitting back here. There's a fold down armrest with cup holders and three adjustable headrests. The outer headrest can be folded for better visibility. The back of the center console houses a couple more cup holders, adjustable air vents, two USB ports, and an extra 12 volt power outlet. Heated rear seats are added with the LTZ Plus package. Heated and cooled rear seats are standard on the high country. As far as safety, the Silverado's interior includes six standard airbags, including dual stage frontal airbags, seat mounted side airbags for the front, and head curtain airbags for the front and rear. Stabilitrack electronic stability control with rollover mitigation technology is standard, along with trailer sway control and hill start assist. All trim levels come standard with some form of backup camera system. A rear view mirror camera is optional across the board. The Silverado HD is also offered with a number of driver assistance technologies. How many technologies you're able to get depends on the trim level. There's two safety packages offered. The first one includes front and rear park assist, lane change alert with side blind zone alert, and rear cross traffic alert. Those features are included with the LTZ Plus package. The second safety package includes a forward collision alert, lane departure warning, automatic emergency braking, automatic high beams, a follow distance indicator, and a safety alert driver's seat. Well everyone, I hope you enjoyed the in-depth look at the 2021 Chevrolet Silverado 2500 HD. Be sure to stay tuned next time and leave a like down below because that really helps the video a lot. And if you haven't already, subscribe today because there's always a lot more where that came from. I'll see you guys on the next one. Take care.